Hey YouTube, it's Tiki Tech Talk here today with a video that's been, um, need to, whoa, what's that sound? Well, I haven't done a video in a long time, and my last one got like 100,000 views or somewhat like that, well, a long time ago. And I just wanted to make a video showing I'm not some squeaky little 12 year old anymore, so I'm actually 14 now, yay, 14, and I'm playing Minecraft because I'm home sick. So what else do I do? I go out and build a dual seven segment display. That means two seven segment displays, and I hooked it up to just a four bit binary decoder and a four bit binary um, and a four bit binary ripple carry adder. I think it's what it's called, and just a binary counter that you like. Um, that every time it changes the input, changes state, it counts one up in binary. And I'd like to expand this to be 16-bit, but right now it only displays numbers um, 1 through 14, so nothing higher than that. But let's just power it on. So here's a little control panel. This is for the manual counter. Every time you click it, it will go up one. And this is um, this is for the. Or I'll I'll talk about that later. But this is display power and adder power. Right now, let's just display the number that we put up here. So one in binary is zero, 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 0001 or just 1. So it's just 1. So if we click that, I think I clicked it. Yeah. No, I didn't click it. That indicator lights there for a reason. So that's basically 1 in binary as you can see there. And give it a second. I'm really psyched that they added in these redstone repeaters because it makes things twice as fast these little things. It makes stuff twice as fast, and you can control it and make songs out of it. But it's pretty nice. And so, there you have it. It's a 1. And then 1-1 one, one in binary would be 3. So, let's just see if it displays a 3. And it displays a 3. Yay! Happy face. But, um... What you don't usually see is a dual seven segment display in Minecraft. I mean, there's plenty of other videos out there of CPUs and all that rot, but you never see a number that can come up as this. It's 11. And then if you just count one more in binary, which would be um, 1100, and that'd be 12. So it should go through and then recycle and then be eventually a 12. Or, wait a second, wait a second, and it's a 12, which is displayed here. So I'm psyched for that being able to be accomplished, and I'm happy that was even possible. So basically, what I'd like to show you is my 4-bit adder, which isn't fully being able to be displayed, but, and it doesn't really have a, um, by, it has a binary output, I just didn't display it here, but I'll show you the adder. Let's just turn everything off. Um, if I can do this, and I'll show you all the works behind all this in a second. But I guess, um, and then I'll just turn adder power on, which basically turns off the direct input, and I'll just do a simple math equation. So one, and then I'll set this to the second bit. That should recycle it. So it should stay one. And then one plus one zero, which is two, should equal three. So that's two in binary. I set one to the second. And it's pretty interesting how I did it with just one set of controls. But it should be 13, because one plus two, I mean, not 13. But 1 plus 2 equals 3. So that's good that I got that going. And then this is a neat nifty thing. It also um, gives it to the power 2. So if we flick that down without flicking it up again, it'll be 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, if you know math. And it's 4. And this can be any number that can be displayed. So let's just do 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. Or no, wait, it's not to the power of 2, it's just multiplied by 2. Yeah, it's just multiplied by 2. Um, 
I wish it was the power of two, but it's just multiplied by two, so don't get your hopes up. But if we flip that up, we leave three in the second slot, and we can add that to something like four, which should give us seven. I need to make a refresher that refreshes it all at once, but that's the most compact like um, display I could get. I forget what we added. Yeah, oh, we added three plus four, and we got seven. But I'll show you guys how all of this stuff works. Let me just reset it back to zero. Oh yeah, I can show you how the counter works too. Forgot about that. I'll just do the adder power off. Um, flip this back down, and then back up, which will reset it to zero. And after it's reset to zero, I will show you the works of all this. If you guys want any tutorials at all, just ask me. I'll put something up. And then here's the counter. Every time you click it, it goes up by one. Amazing. Just amazing. It's not that fast, it's still bulky. I still need to cut down on all my repeaters and reflectors and repeater and repeater and all that good rot. But, um, I wonder why this isn't going. Huh. I think I forgot to reconnect. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you the works now. Um, this is everything. It's a little circuit called a T flip flop. And basically, every time something changes states um, twice, it puts out a different. Um, different. What's that doohickey called that puts out? Output. There you go. But these T flip flops do that. And everything else is pretty. I'm not going to get into the redstone. If you want a tutorial, I'll give you one later. But let me just hop in my super awesome minecart track of awesomeness to show you my super awesome place. Better not lose that. Frame rate's a little low just because Fraps is open. But um, that's my compact design, and I got an idea from this one guy to do it like um, color coded. And then this is my binary converter over there, and I'll show you everything. Let me just get one of my hacked items out because I'm cool like that. Uh, to go straight up. I may have to cut this video into two parts because that's just how it rolls. But anyways, um, let me turn off fog. <laughs> I pressed F way too many times. Someone that may be watching this inside joke. Um, but anyways, this is um. I'll just go, okay, so your input from the controls goes down this line into here, and then that just goes directly into there. But if you have the adder turned on, those direct inputs are turned off, and it goes through the adder, which is that back there, which is actually the smallest part. And so this stuff goes basically down here, and that's a little 4-bit memory cell. And whenever I flip that switch, it updates that memory cell to the second slot. So that's why it's the second slot. It goes into the second slot of binary numbers there. And then you can change that first without changing the state of the um, output of the memory slots into there. And it takes this gigantor bus thing back into there. It sets that as the first number, and you're happy like that. Um, over here is my counter, which is being, um, a person right now, and, yeah, a person, that's pretty bad. Um, and that's, oh yeah, this is my giant binary decoder, which takes the binary number and then puts it out into a number that's 1 through 4, or 